Hello everyone, WatchOS 6.2.5 Beta 2 is out for all registered developers and I'd also like to talk about some iOS 13 issues that are still present even in the latest betas. Now before we get into the video, if you happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from Ice Cool Tech. Every subscriber gets truly does mean a lot and it's very appreciated. Let's see if we can hit 1,000 subscribers before Apple's WWDC 20 event in early June. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. WatchOS 6.2.5 Developer Beta 2 released yesterday along with the announcement of the iPhone SE and following the release of iOS 13.4.5 Developer Beta 2. Now this update came in at 141 megabytes from my Apple Watch Series 1 as I was coming from WatchOS 6.2. Now let me know which Apple Watch you use and what WatchOS version you're running in the comments down below. This beta of WatchOS 6.2.5 brings bug fixes as well as general optimizations. Now we can also safely assume that there are some security improvements in this update as well. As the Series 1 and Series 2 Apple Watches come to their ends in terms of support, these updates are very necessary. We of course want these devices to lose support on a good note. Now wondering whether or not you should update, well I'd always advise staying away from watchOS betas as you cannot downgrade from them back to previous releases. This means that if anything happens you will not be able to restore. Now of course I will have a full review of watchOS 6.2.5 on the Series 1 Apple Watch coming early next week so stay tuned iOS 13 had a very buggy start right from the beginning. Now as it may have gotten better, there are still more bugs to be patched, and some of these have actually been added throughout newer updates. Now we're going to start off with the iPhone 7. The iPhone 7 is having a very hard time on iOS 13. Many people are complaining that there is a major battery drain and noticeable overheating on their iPhone 7 and 7 Plus models. Now I actually have a video regarding this and you can view it in the iCard right here. I've also noticed a major stuttering and missing animations on my iPhone 7. The stuttering has been fixed, but I still have missing unlock animations sometimes. Now luckily for me, two of my recent videos did get this on camera, so I'm finally able to show you. This next issue has to do with wallpaper. Ever since the early iOS 13 betas, I and many others have noticed that the wallpaper preview is a lot more vibrant than the wallpaper itself. When you set a wallpaper, it gets very dull and washed out. Now you can actually fix this by respringing, restarting, or changing your display size in display and brightness. Now this is a very annoying issue, however. Now I also recently noticed that the app icons look slightly more vibrant in the wallpaper preview than they do on the home screen. I have reported these issues to Apple numerous times without any luck. And finally, the third issue actually has to do with messages. On iOS 13, users such as myself are noticing that the messages, force, or haptic touch quick actions menu is no longer displaying recent contacts. It will only show the new message option. Now this is very annoying, especially for people that use this feature regularly. Now I hope these issues are fixed before iOS 14, and if you're on the iOS 13.4.5 beta, definitely make sure to report any issues you come across in the feedback app. As always, if you do have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Alright everyone, that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Don't forget to check out the iSchool Tech official Discord link in the description down below as always. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.